That's what we're going to do to our Latino brothers and sisters. It's racist. Now, what are you to do when you have no help from the federal government? Understand this. The border is a federal responsibility. I'll say it one more time. The border between U.S. and Mexico is a federal responsibility. It is not the responsibility of Texas or New Mexico or Arizona or California. It's not their responsibility. It shouldn't be. But when you have this at your front door trying to pour into your state, what are you to do when you have no help from the federal government? It's their responsibility. All they're doing at the federal level, they may send some more money to it. You may have seen that. Okay, they're approving more money to the border. All they're doing with the money is getting these illegal aliens processed in quicker as so-called asylum seekers. That's all that's happening. They're not actually doing things to repel them away. Eagle Pass, Texas. One more time. Check it out. What do you what do you do in a situation? So in Texas, it's like, OK, check it out. We're going to have a law that says if you come here, you're an illegal alien. We're going to make it illegal for you to be in Texas as, a, as an illegal alien. It's going to be a criminal penalty. I mean, they got to do something. They tried to put the, the buoys in the water with the razor wire on it. Try to put razor. They, they try all kind of stuff. But it's like the, the problem is, is just the problem is persisting. And the reason why there's a big problem is because the federal rallies are allowing it. The federal rallies want it. They want all the people. They want all the, the these right here are the new slaves. OK, these are the new slaves. Point blank, period. That's just what it is. Okay, we tried freeing slaves. It costs too much to not have a slave class. Let's bring in a new slaves. That's just what it is. Now, back to Stephen A. Smith. He commented on Texas making it illegal to be an illegal alien in their state. And let's hear from him. Greg Abbott, you ever heard of him? He's the governor for the state of Texas. On Monday, that governor, Governor Abbott, signed a bill into law that will allow the police to arrest migrants who enter the U.S. illegally. Now, let's pause right here. Fair, fair use. Stephen A., I know I'm criticizing you. I know I'm not really on your side right now, but don't give me a copyright, man. Uh, fair use. This is reaction. This is commentary. This is live streaming. Just look out for me, boss. But you hear what he said. Now, do you think there's anything wrong with what Greg Abbott has done? Is that wrong to make an illegal action illegal? Is it wrong? This law, which takes effect in March, allows any Texas law enforcement officer to arrest people who are suspected of entering the country illegally. Now, he's going to harp on the word suspected quite a bit. And this is where a lot of normies just go wrong because they don't understand the way this country works. They don't understand law. They don't understand anything about this world. They have a very limited view of this country, a very limited view of how things actually work in society. Let's keep on going. This is bad, ladies and gentlemen. And before... I go a step further. There's an individual by the name of Krish, K-R-I-S-H, Omara Vignaraja, V-I-G-N-A-R-A-J-A-H. That person is the CEO of Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Service. Pause right here for the fair use. Says, quote, by criminalizing the very act of seeking refuge, Texas is turning its back on the values of compassion and due process that make our nation the world's beacon of humanitarian leadership. Now, check it out. You can say you're seeking asylum. Does that mean you could just break into my house? OK, Stephen, A., I am seeking asylum from California's coming to Tennessee. 
I want to go to your house in Los Angeles, New York, wherever you live. I want to go to your house. I'm seeking refuge. So check it out. Open the door. Let me in. And matter of fact, if the door is not open and you won't let me in, I'm going to break into your house. Now, can you call the police on me? Can you have me arrested? Am I doing something illegal? Just because you think what they're doing is legitimate and there's a good reason behind it does not mean the law doesn't exist. That does not mean that being an illegal alien, being in the country illegally is not illegal. That's not what that means. It's because you think the ends justify the means does not mean that so in the eyes of the law. That is one way to put it. There are various other ways to put it. This is a disgrace. Why, Stephen A. Smith, is it a disgrace? It's inhumane. And it opens the floodgate to further divide our nation because when you have law enforcement mm -hmm. that literally can arrest people over a suspicion. That's how it works because when you get arrested, Stephen A., and again, he said this whole thing about being suspected and a suspicion. That's how it works, Stephen A. You see, when you get arrested, you are a suspect until you're proven guilty or innocent. You're suspected of a crime. Okay, that's how it goes. Okay, they arrested a suspect in a double homicide. They may have a murder weapon, a confession, a videotape. They are still a suspect until they go to court have due process, and they're proven guilty or innocent. That's how it works. So stop harping on that, Stephen A. Smith. Understand the way that this country and the way the law works. Think about that for a second. People can be arrested who are suspected of entering the country illegally. Yes. Do you realize that that means a law enforcement official can walk up to somebody, all right, they look Hispanic, Okay, they, 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 their English is broken. Stephen A., my man, you, you're just, this, this, is, this is the average normie. This, this is what they think. They think that all these migrants are Mexican. <laughs> it's like, first of all, you're in Texas. Texas is pretty much Mexico already. What do you mean? You're going to find a bunch of Hispanics all over Texas. Listen, when I was in El Paso, Texas many years ago, it's pretty much 100% Mexican specifically. And they all speak Spanish. And I'm in the USA because you're right there on the border. It's literally on the border of Mexico. Listen to me one more time. El Paso, Texas is nearly 100% Mexican and they all speak Spanish. So what are you talking about? That's not how it works. If they see a bunch of Africans coming across the border through a hole in the border. Okay. I see you. You're coming in here illegally. We're going to arrest you. And we're going to say you're a suspect because that's how it works in America. And so you go to court and you get proven guilty or innocent. That's how it works. A lot of the migrants coming across are not even Mexican. They come from all over the world. A lot of Chinese, Africans, um, other parts of Central America, South America, some Caribbean, some Haitians. Again, remember when the Haitians first came across and then the whole whipping kerfuffle happened? People were all like, hey, how did Haitians get to Mexico? This isn't their water in between the island and Mexico. People have no idea that things like boats exist, things like planes exist. People can travel from all over the world to get to the country illegally. Stephen A., it ain't just Mexicans. It's not Mexicans really at all. It's the entire rest of the entire world. That's what's happening, Stephen A. Smith. They don't speak fluid English. So that could be a cause for me to arrest them. Let them deal with the problems later. Ladies and gentlemen, to get out of jail, bail costs money. It ain't free. To hire a lawyer, that costs money. My man, they got Syrians. Venezuelans, somebody said 400,000 Venezuelans. They got Syrians, Iraqis, Indians, Africans, Senegalese, Ghanaians, Nigerians, South Africans, Kenyans, Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, Russians, Germans, 
white Canadians, everybody coming across the border illegally. They said they caught um, in one year, I forget the exact number, but they said they caught people as far as the actual non gotaways, the ones they actually caught from 150 different countries, my man. Wake up, open your eyes and see what's happening around you. I, I implore all normies to at least watch the news. Just it, watch me, watch other people to see what's happening. When you speak to regular people, and this is why I refuse to speak to my family about politics because I'm not trying to be the guy to educate some grown person about what's happening in the world. And then they get offended because I'm saying things they don't understand. I'm not trying to do that. Let's talk about just regular basic stuff. You, you saw the game last night. Giannis had a great dunk, didn't he? You saw the football game. Great pass from uh, your man in the, on, the, on the Chiefs. Great pass. Great, great touchdown. Pick six. Yay. Talking about this kind of stuff, they're not going to understand. It ain't free. You have essentially opened up an avenue to incarcerate people for no cause whatsoever other than a particular law enforcement official's suspicion. That's what we're going to do to our Latino brothers and sisters. My man, you have no idea what's going on. I'm going to stop right here. You have no idea what's happening. Latino? Latino? <laughs> I mean, look, do you know, Stephen A. Smith, you're from New York City. You're from the city. You're from uh, one of the boroughs. I'm not sure where he's from exactly. Harlem, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, whatever. You are from New York City. Do you know that 70% of the migrants that have come to the city within the past year are African? Did you know that, Stephen A. Smith? I don't think you did. I don't think you did. And do you know what else? I would say 100% of them are coming from Texas originally. And when they're at the border, they're being asked, hey, where are you from? Senegal, where are you going? New York. Latino? <laughs> My man, Texas is already Latino. California is already Latino. You're about 40 years in the past or even more than that because Texas has always been Latino. Texas was Mexico. You're, you're just, you're not thinking straight. You're not thinking straight here.